Hello and welcome to One More Pen. Today I'm taking a closer look at this one. This is the Parker IM. It is the latest version. There is an older version of this pen, which I also have one of, but this is the stainless steel or brushed metal newer version. It's an absolutely beautiful pen. I would say that this pen is almost flawless. There are one or two tiny things about it that I'm not crazy about, but for the most part, this pen is very underrated. So we'll take a closer look at it. I'll ink it up with something that I really enjoy, but you'll have to wait to see what that is. And like always, we will do a writing sample and then I will tell you about what I like about this pen, which is a lot, and the one or two things that could be improved. So stick around for that. Now, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate your support. Now, let's take a closer look at this pen. Taking a closer look at this pen, one cannot help but notice the brushed metal finish on this pen. It really is quite beautiful. The, at the top of the cap, we have just a chrome finial, nothing uh, there, no markings or branding or anything like that. And the same at the bottom, just a chrome finial, which is quite beautiful and I think fits in well with the rest of the pen. We have a kind of a center band on the cap. And if we take a closer look, it says Parker. And I cannot make that up, but that's probably a date stamp of some kind at the back. Maybe I'll have a closer look at that later. The clip on the cap is very traditionally Parker, very well known. It's quite stiff, it's functional. It is beautiful, it fits in really well with the pen. All in all, this is just a really lovely pen to look at. Slip cap, pen uncaps. It's got a little bit of friction before it caps. So right there, I can already start to feel some friction and then it caps very securely, no issues there. We uncap the pen, we find the section and the nib. And something that becomes obvious very, very immediately really is the size of the nib. This is quite a small, chubby looking little nib. It's smaller than most nibs on my other pens. And one wonders how well would it write. And we'll definitely give it a test drive. On the nib we see Parker and the three um, sort of arrow fletches on the nib. At the bottom of the nib on the feed there is an M for medium. And it's interesting how the, the wings of the nib flare out from the feed and it's it's just um, something that I notice. In any event, the section is rather short, but it doesn't really matter because there isn't much of a step from the section to the barrel. It's quite smooth. So whether you hold the pen towards the back or closer to the nib, you're not really going to feel that step at all. Um, it's not going to be in the way. Section is plastic. We unscrew the barrel and we have plastic threads and inside the barrel we have a plastic insert. So it's plastic on plastic threads and this pen uses cartridges or a converter. And here I have a standard Parker converter. These are proprietary. You cannot use international standard international cartridges. It fits very securely. So that's definitely not going anywhere. Does the pen post? Yes, it posts very securely. 
and that would definitely add quite a bit of weight to the pen it doesn't make it um, unbalanced in any way it's, it still feels very comfortable and I think it would still write very well so the one thing that I do notice with the finial on the back this is my only gripe as far as the bolt quality is concerned is I feel that it could have followed the line of the barrel a little better for example if you look at the cap you will see the line of the cap and then the finial it's it's really flush with it it follows the line perfectly whereas I think at the back the finial could have been I don't know I think it could have been just slightly more lined or, or aligned with the the lines on the barrel but there is by no means nothing wrong with it um, it's just something that I think could have been slightly better but yes that's perhaps at the end of the day that's just uh, I don't know something that I notice it's it's really not worth even talking about it because there's absolutely nothing wrong with that the bolt quality on the pen overall in my view is excellent this is extremely well bolt it's absolutely beautiful there's a lot of attention paid to detail on this pen there is nothing on the pen that feels flimsy or cheap in any way so I'm going to ink this up and we'll give it a test drive as far as the writing experience is concerned the ink that I'll be using for the writing sample is Pelican 4001 Brilliant Brown this is an ink that I recently acquired and the more I use it the more I just fall in love with this color really beautiful it's interesting I can I can see some sort of sediment forming on the inside of the bottle I don't know if, if that's normal for this ink but oh, I'll just assume that it is and I've got a converter it's rather tight I have to say but that's fine so let's ink it up and that's halfway full so I will do just do this process again and this time it's going to fill pretty much all the way I just wipe the excess off there clean off the nib and we are good to go and let me just put away the ink all right there we go and that's done with very little ink on the fingers which is uh, quite rare so for the writing sample I'm using my Rhodia dot pad as usual very high quality paper and it's just very reliable and it just works so well with the inks so what we have here is the Parker IM and this is a medium steel nib the combination of the nib and ink is not particularly wet but I think it is quite adequate the ink in this instance Pelican 4001 Brilliant Brown
like I mentioned before this is quite a small nib and as far as line variation if we apply a little pressure we don't really see any line variation perhaps you get a little bit more ink from the nib but that is about it let's try a little bit more writing So all in all, I think the writing experience with this pen is quite good. The nib is very smooth, it is very comfortable, pen is comfortable to hold, um, there's really nothing I can complain about. The short, tiny nib does not, I think, affect the writing experience in any way. It writes like any other fountain pen, any other nib. It keeps up quite well. I do find that it feels a little drier than I usually prefer my pens and I'm wondering if that is not just the combination of the ink with this pen. I have to use this pen quite a bit before and I found it to be a rather wet writer so it's a little bit of a surprise today that it's not as wet with this ink but like I say maybe that is just the combination of the ink and the pen. All in all I am very happy with this pen. Um, I mentioned earlier there are two little things that I think could be improved. The one was the finial at the back that I thought could just follow the lines of the barrel a little better. But there's really nothing wrong with that. That's just my own little obsessive thing. And the only other thing I can mention from my experience with this pen is that it tends to dry out if you leave it for a couple of days. Um, if you use it every two or three days I think it's perfectly fine but if you leave it for a week it will struggle to start and you will have to um, you know prime the nib a little bit or do something to get the ink flowing again that's a little bit annoying I think uh, that could be better um, I have a lot of really cheaper pens where that's not an issue at all but it's not a major thing it's not a major flaw at all if I ink up a pen I tend to use it um, you know I use all the ink that's in there so for me it's not really an issue uh, if you ink up a lot of pens and you leave them for a while you may find that this one tends to dry out uh, a little bit so those are the only two little things that I can really critique this pen on apart from that it really scores full marks it's excellent bolt quality it's beautiful it's a good writer in every way um, for the price of this pen and you can go check it out I don't know exactly what they cost right now but this, it's not an expensive pen for what you get I think this is really good for you know good value for um, the price and it's a pen I would recommend to anyone without any hesitation I think it's really good value for money so this is the Parker I am thank you for watching and I will see you next time.